Hello my fellow gamers and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. This isn't actually a Shadow Against the YouTuber episode for a change. It's been really exciting having those episodes as my shot runs away. Um, yeah, obviously these guys are faster even in slow-mo. But, so, to the point, yes, and this is just me standard against um another person online. A friend of mine who's quite interested in this game asked, Shadow, is it possible to have a purely pretty much pure wolf army and making com um, competitive, that's the word, I was going to say compatible then, competitive, and I said I have no idea, let's find out. So this is my attempt of a practical pure wolf army. Now to start off with, we have 18 wolf chariots, which have ran off, that includes the teeth robbers, which is the regiment of renown. They've got these cool blue blue wolves. Look at that. I, I do love the way they've done the wolves completely different. They're very fishy. So I've got those chariots running ahead. My main block force is a nice simple 360 goblins. All tiered up to max rank that you can get. Three gold bars. You've also got 180 goblin archers. A night goblin war boss. Because apparently you can't have a goblin war boss. It's got to be a night goblin. Or an orc. Or special character. So I've gone with a Night Goblin Warboss, and he is backed up by his good buddy there, the Giant. On either flank, though, and this is the main part of the force here, are these wolves, and they're on either side of either flank. So on each flank, I've got 120 wolf riders and 120 wolf rider archers. They've a Goblin Big Boss and a wolf. So the Goblin then leads them on. I feel like I'm going to have to pause this because they're getting really into it. Um, yes, these on one side you've got the Mole Grubs Mangle Marauders, which is the regiment renowned for the archers, the wolf archers, and then you've got the Moon Howlers, which I believe are these guys here. Where are they? The, there they are, the Moon Howlers, of course, fair. So we best get to the enemy side, haven't we? On theirs, on each side, they've got 120 Warhounds, the poison, because that poison's really helping them out here. Their middle main group is 225 Chaos Warriors and 120 Chosen, all with great weapons. And then, obviously, they had to bring a Chaos Dragon. So I've got little wolves, they've got Chaos Dragon. So that's Chaos Lord on the dragon. And you've got an Exalted Hero and a Sorcerer of Death, both are Manticles. So we begin this battle because these guys have already got started. You can see the chariots have moved forward. The plan here is keep in slow motion is these guys hold the center. They're just a distraction. The chariots move up to be a pain and the wolves overwhelm any flank and force or bypass it completely if they can. Get around and get behind the enemy and cause a nuisance while they fight this group off. And that's gone rather well because where these guys cause fear, as you can see these guys have already started to waver. Straight in, getting shot. So you got a bit of wolf on wolf action here. Woohoo! Look at them go. We don't care. We're eager. Like I said, we've got a goblin big boss in there. Where is he? Where is he? He's in there somewhere. There he is, leading from the front. So yes, and this is my pure, pretty much wolf army. To see if we can do it. The dragon has landed in the chariots. And this is a quite a fast-paced game because there's a lot going on all the time. The micro needed for this game was mad. And I've got with them, but that mountain plays havoc with the camera. Look, I'm nowhere near it, but I can't zoom in. There we go. Goblin. What, what are you doing, camera? There we go. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm fine those flanks off. So that's the plan. And you see, it is working. Their leadership is plummeting. We'll pit up to normal speed. Obviously, you've got this group here just holding the line. So, they're trying to fight these chariots off. Now, I did tell these chariots to skirmish. Apparently, that means nothing to them. And they just. I don't know if it's maybe they got charged by flyers. So, I quickly got them scared. But the micro needed for this game was insane. Doing that. And this side's already been beaten. And yes, I do chase them down. It's brilliant. My archers are now picking off these guys and shooting them. That was the key here. I knew because of fear, me being goblins, I had to take these big guys out. The exalted hero 
out of the chaos on this side. Uh, as you can see, the hounds are pretty much being on this side. And as I learned in my shadow against the YouTubers, chase these guys off. So I just sent one little unit just to chase them off. Apparently I sent a big boss. There you go, they've ran off now. So I've now won this flank and this group is now ready to join up and attack. He's doing all sorts of horrible spells on me. Oop, wrong button, apologies. What is he doing? He's so blind. Oh dear. And he sends the exalted hero here. He's, as you can see, he's taking quite a bit of damage already. A good quarter of his health for missing. Chariots are broken. But I quickly react to this, get my giants involved, my boss, and these spearmen turn around and charge in. You see my wolf riders are now, after I've secured the flanks, are now coming in to get behind these guys. As I said, this block of goblins was purely... Look, he's broken now. Well, he's wavering, I believe. Practically no health whatsoever. How much health has he got? Not much. That's like a single hit from the giant. So his warriors are now coming in. That dragon, I've got to be careful. Because all these cause terror. And I've got goblins. They're known for low leadership. So I've got my archers coming in. And you got my cavalry now behind. Giants joining in this fight. Archers are not liking that, but we're doing. I d because I enjoyed so much using the blazing suns and uh, cavalry, I thought this army would be brilliant for me because I do a lot of hit run, hit run, which works perfect for wolves. Here they go. See, I've got. I'm um, multitasking. These guys should be putting back now. Why aren't you putting back? Where's that damn dragon? There he is. Look, he's actually hidden his exalted hero over there. <laughs> the dragon's taking out the chariots. And these guys are starting to break a bit. Giant's having a great time though. Seriously, there's me saying, oh yeah, I'll pull back. I must have forgot about them. You can see that he's winning this flank nicely. But his leads have starting to break on this side. So is mine. But the giant will hold it. And so will the goblin big boss. Or the night goblin war boss. Where's that dragon going? Oh, he's there. There's the sorcerer. But this was the key thing was range. And when I've teared them up to pretty much gold bars, they are elite guys. They are... Every shot does more damage. See, there's his giant the, um, dragon. Oh, dear. He's broken. Where to go, Night Goblin Big Boss? I think he is about to fall. Giant's still in there. What else is there? That's the Goblin Big Boss. Yep, there goes the Night Goblin Boss. But again, I wasn't too worried about this force. I've got this group here shooting in. I've got these groups here. As you can see, his main army's all boked in here. So if I can get my archers to fight everything into them, he's shooting them in the back. As you can see. Very nice. Though, it was ironic, the fact that the lightest guys and that, the but the least morale and I had to fight flipping chaos at the best armor and terrorize and yeah he's now getting it again I told these guys to keep back and they don't so I don't know if it's just flying doesn't take effect but these guys are now broken so I'm sending these guys to chase him get them off the field because I've got a unit spare I've got these guys now free to start shooting in as well the giant is doing so much damage when you think these have got great weapons. He's now signed in the Chaos Dragon to try and finish him off. Or is he? I think he's just trying to terrorise my guys, which makes sense. He's broken. Beaten by wolves. You, you're seeing it first here, lads. This is it. It's Chaos Dragons, Manticles and Gret Chosen being beaten. Oh, and the giant has fallen. But that's not a point. I've got chariots now. And at this point, I go, right, I need to reorganize this stuff. So any goblins I've got, I'm sending in. Archers, I'm sending in. I'm going to start getting them while they're all grouped up. And you see, it is actually making them waver. Don't know what happened there. He went to land and then immediately picked up. But look, he's got these flying guys hiding. <laughs> Hoping his warriors would do the job, but... I've got so many guys left. How many has he got? 125 to 456. That's a point. I never said how many we started with. I've kind of forgotten to do that. So we, I started with over 1,042 goblins against 588 guys. So I had a huge advantage. But they're doing quite good, the goblins. It's probably because of the tear-ups and that, the upgrades. You see, it's 
got these guys keeping them in combat my close combat guys but the archers shoot at them from a distance which is the best way I can do it and I'm taking it in turns they charge out they charge in same here you see as soon as they start breaking I fall back and of course this starts happening units start running out of ammunition but it don't matter there's plenty more where that came from you see this is a beautiful hit and run army and I only played this today and I thought I've got to get this in a video go and get it on and it would be a good way to finish the week off on a Friday so yeah very exciting he's charging the dragon on his own what a, what a big bo boss he is I'm not sure what he was doing with these guys he was kind of trying to gather up there's another boss getting in there but they're trying to walk slowly towards the arch line. And when he realizes this isn't working, at this point, my guys have all gathered here. Gathered there. So we can free attack, get our strength together, our morale together, and attack. Now he's attacking these guys. Which is fine. Like I said, this is cannon fodder. The chariots are still being a nuisance. There's three of them, and they just, they just keep rear charging. <laughs> Oh, and this guy must have got so frustrated with these. It's look, now they've started to waver. These guys have all broken. The chariots have now ran out of ammunition. But you can see, I'm now gathering all because all my leadership was quite low. So I'm getting them together, getting the goblin big bosses together. They've now broken pretty much. I love the way these goblins. They just don't care that their boss has died. Is it? They're fleeing. But these guys don't have much health left. 700 health. How much has a dragon got? 900. There's 700 and a thousand. There is not much going on here, is there? He's still like he's just been a nuisance. He's so fast. The chaos dragon seems to struggle, and then he goes, "Yeah, no, I'm, you, you've got it." And he starts putting his strength together, and he think he kind of realizes we. It's like. Mutually agreed. Yeah, we'll um, we'll line up again. We've switched sides completely now. So he's deploying here. I'm deploying what I've got here. Um, these guys, they're wavering, but they're still mine. So he doesn't realise. So they're going to come around here and add a bit of surprise support when I do finally push in for the final attack. So what I'm doing here, it, we're kind of rearranging me, he's getting this stuff ready, I'm getting mine. What I'm trying to do is anything that has ammunition, anything at all, we're um, pitting at the back. And anyone who hasn't got ammunition or their pure close combat are going to the front. Get the two bosses together. These guys have done really, really well. So it's kind of a bit of a standoff now between the two. Take a breather, get my... Get my flank and force in position. No, I don't expect them to do much. But also, well, the goblin bosses were there. Their leadership was going up a bit. So it's good. It's tense. But it's, I'm really surprised this done as well as it did. These guys, these wolf riders. Nah, really fun themed army to play. And I tell you one thing, I would definitely be doing a, another theme. I think I'll do an arachnid, arachnid theme. Goblin army, so it'll be all spider riders and the arachnid queen and all that, and see how, how that goes. I don't think it's spam if it's based on a theme, so I think this kind of works. I believe we start moving forward now. Yes, we are. But as you can see, he's got a group waiver and leadership. Not doing too great, but he does immediately. He does a. I believe that's stand or die, isn't it? Yes, it is. Which kind of very fitting for this. Don't know why these guys kind of ran off ahead in front of everyone else. Let's get cinematic mode up. So the Chaos Dragon and that flying. These guys just immediately charge straight into the weaker guys. Just run through them. It's beautiful. Chaos Dragon doing the right thing. Going for the guys of the range. The only guys that can actually shoot them. You can see, for some reason I didn't move the chariot up. The archers don't want to go anywhere near them. They're breaking. But so are the Chaos Warriors. Just having all these wolves everywhere. These Chosen, so-called Chosen, and start breaking. They just had enough, and we start chasing them off the field. Yeah, see, broken. 
broken, so... He's trying to chase these guys off the field, and these guys are shooting him. But what's he done? Now he's got no ground forces. They're both up in the air. And he gets his warning. You have to land them and attack, and he decides not to, and ends it there. So there you go. I really enjoyed this battle report, because it, it's so unexpected, especially against Chaos, and we won. I'm not sure how we managed this. So, let's go over it. As you see, 1,000 to nearly 600. I lost nearly 700, but I still outnumbered them 4 to 1. Very nice. So let's go over his first. His Chaos Lord got 69 kills. As a giant dragon against goblins, that don't actually surprise me. I, I should have probably had more. So close to death, though. His Chaos Sorcerer of Death, 40 kills. His Exalted Hero only got 27. Quite surprised by that. Um, I think he kind of threw him in too early, and I got to get the giant and that to hit him. Um, his Chaos Warriors, 64, 40, 82. His Chosen, oh, they did good, 195 kills. Oh, those poor goblins, and 92. And the Wolves didn't do too good, 7, 13, 8, 5. But, as you can see, these guys, they are got a lot of health left. That's because they were pretty much broke near the start of the battle and then chased off the field. So my Night Goblin boss, who died, only got 3 kills. But I don't really care about him. It was more than these guys, 27 kills, 27 the little goblins done alright. Seven kills, nine kills, zero kills. Well done. Um, I mean, that unit of ours has got 33 kills. But you can see I got all gold and silver tier goblins. So the wolf riders, 35, 22, 34, and the moon howlers, 23. But the moon howlers would have made a lot more flee because they cause fear. So nice. And the archers, 29, 44 kills that group got. And the chariots, 37, 20. Um... The Regiment of Renown Archers got 38. The Chariot, the Special Chariot, got a single kill. That's kind of embarrassing. And the Giant got 57. So there you have it. Um, I'm going to work on this a bit more, do a few more games, because that was really enjoyable playing against that. I might do a few more games over the weeks. And Yeah, so there you go. A Goblin, practically a full Wolf Army. I feel like you do need this, though. One, to stop spamming. And two, it's a trap. It's I just have them sat there, and they're like, oh... I can't reach the wolves, I'll attack that. And when they go for that, their backs are turned. Go for it. So let me know what you think of this army and the battle overall. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, why not? It's brilliant. Push that little red button now, and that way you get notified whenever I do a more ridiculous battle army like pure wolves, or as I said, they are pure spiders. And yeah, push the like button if you enjoyed like, the army or the battle. I thought it was, I, you couldn't get too opposite, could you? Goblins of wolves against chaos and a dragon brilliant so thank you for joining me i hope to see you next time till then take care